Hey there guys, this is Josh. Um, today I'm going to show you another system that I installed. Uh, this system is actually at my own house, <laughs> so um, I have a few other ones out there that I could go out and record. Um, hopefully I can get permission to do that, but for now I'm going to show you my system, which just today I kind of saved the dirt's a little rough. It wasn't before, but I replaced a ball valve, a manual valve with a automatic valve and added a timer, so now I don't have to turn it on manually anymore. So, um, before we get started, I just want to let you know, don't... Oh, hi, Abby. Sorry. Oh, she's, she's a neighbor cat. She just gets mad. Anyway, going on. Um, uh, before we get started, I just want to let people know, don't give me heck for shortcuts I might have taken in the system or things because before this valve was in, the entire system was installed before I had gained my experience that I have today. Um, I took quite a bit of shortcuts on this. Um, I'll start off by showing you one of them. It was the hose connection. You can see it's anti-siphon uh, hose bib that I just connected a garden hose to, which isn't the best, but it works, so I'm glad with it. Eventually, I plan on replacing it, but um, I don't want to mess with the siding. That's asbestos. But um, anyway, so yeah, it's connected to the hose bib, and it just kind of cycles its way underground to the valve box. And like I said before, this is a manual valve until today. Upgraded it with a Toro valve. It's kind of messy. I gotta add grease caps yet. You can see right there. Um, there's the um, solenoid. Then you have the connections. It's three fourth inch. And yeah. So um, I'm gonna go through sprinkler heads here. There's a um, Weathermatic Turbo Freezer. This one I had to fix. Um, I fix it up so it works. It's a orbit eclipse. Um, yeah, not much. See there. Over here, this head, I have to fix the threads on the riser, or I have to get a new riser for it, but it's an orbit Saturn three. And over here, I have a Ranger 32 SA. So, let's go downstairs to the timer, and I will show you what I have so far. So you can see, I'm right over here. Oh, um, no, that. Last, but you can see, I messed the basement. Here is the timer, or the controller. See, it's a Rainbird ISA 304, bought at my local hardware store, True Value, which way too expensive to get something that's cheaper than other ISA 304s. This model was made before the better ones are made, and it's more expensive than the better ones. But um, anyway, you can see here are the connections. I don't have a battery yet, but I will get one. Here are your terminals for four zones and a common. Your fuse and your AC inlet. So right now it's set. It's Friday at about 4:40, and we are going to hit manual water. So you can be able to watch out the window. You can see that, but oh, it's gone. So let's run outside here. Yeah, as you can see, the heads are just starting to pop up. Um, actually, quickly here, I'm going to turn this. There we go. Now it's got the proper pressure. So now, you can see the heads are starting to turn up. See, there's the Saturn III. And you can't really see the eclipse yet. 
but... Oh, there it is. And the ring brick there, too, I say. I'll take you outside here. See? Like I said, this isn't professional or anything. Just a system I put in when I get bored. So here's the 32 SA. Okay. And I'll go over to the Weathermatic. Um, by far, if I could do a system using only one head and I had to pick the best, it would be Weathermatic. Um, I've heard many people switch over from Hunter PGPs because they found that the Weathermatic was, for the same price, was better than the Hunter. Um, I think they are, uh, though I've never actually used a Hunter PGP. Um, there aren't any retailers in my area, so I don't generally use them, but I'll set the camera on the air intake cap here. Uh, I'm gonna spring it outside. What the heck? <sighs> not much to see, but I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Um, let's turn it off here. Hear it. Hear the water. Yep, so that is my system. Um, let me run into here. Um, I do do. Yeah, that was odd. I do install systems in Reedsburg here. Um, I've got a few in, like I said, but this is my stock room. <laughs> kind of messy, but you have your spray heads. I acquired these um, down in Madison from a auction. Um, champion spray heads. I like these, personally. Let me have these little, tiny, two-inch pop-up heads. Um, two of those. And then I have a 22 SA rotor got on sale for three bucks at Menards. Thought that was a pretty good thing. Um, I have all of these. These are quite weird. They're sprinkler thinker brass valve adapters. They'll turn your automatic brass or your manual brass valve into automatic valves. Um, but you have to use the sprinkler thinker timer, which I got with the auction as well. That was really neat. I thought. Um, I do have Rainbird. This you can use with regular timers. It's the Rainbird uh, valve adapter. I have a Champion brass anti-siphon valve. And then just various PVC parts and um, poly parts. And my sticks of PVC here. Or my two tube PVC, my valve box gravel. I store in bags. Um, I have a Rain Jet. Uh, wrench. Um, I got that with the auction. Uh, Rainbird piston part. This is the ball valve that I replaced here today. And in here is my little box of goodies. I have my PVC cement and primer. And just a whole bunch of random tools. So, yeah. Um, well, I will go to the front, but it's pretty boring. I just have a um, little, um, um, uh, excuse me, a impact head. I just have a rainbird impact head for the front, and that's all that's out there, so pretty boring. But, um, yeah, so basically that is my current system at my house, and hopefully I'll get some videos of the systems that I have installed that are out there, and hopefully... I'll be installing some more. So, um, yeah, that is about it. Thank you for watching.